Hi, it's Mike Thornton here from Pro Tools Expert, and today we'll take a look at this new Level Magic plugin from Younger and Flux. Now, they build this as a loudness management system, and in fact, the algorithms come from Younger's hardware systems. And now, with the help of Flux, it's available to us as a plugin. So, a quick look through the display. We've got our input section here which is showing us our true peak on the way in, our momentary and short-term loudness, as well as the other loudness stats that we would need to be looking at. Then we've got a leveler and a limiter. So we've got the ability to change the loudness throughout the program and a true peak limiter, which again is one of the key parts of any loudness workflow. Then we've got the output section which is giving us our momentary and short-term loudness, as well as the other stats. So we can see the difference between it coming on the way in and on the way out. And again, we've got a true peak limiter on the way out. Down the bottom here, we can adjust the input gain if we need to. Then we've got the leveler section. Now this in essence is what they call a sliding analysis window, which is designed to gather the loudness data on the incoming program. And in essence, really what it's doing is mimicking the good old fashioned manual gain riding, where you would, as a conversation, perhaps a discussion starts to peak, you just gently pull back on the master fader. And then as things calm down, you push it back up again. And this is trying to mimic that process by analyzing the incoming loudness data and adjusting the overall level to try and smooth out some of the bumps and lumps. We've got a transient processor to catch some of the transients or to allow some of them through so we keep some dynamic range interest. We've got our true peak limiter and we've got this expert mode here, which again is all about trying to analyze and work out what's happening so that again, it smooths all the joins out. There's a lot more information all about exactly how these work in the manual. Have an interesting range of presets. You can see that we have a batch for EBU R128. And what I really like about these presets is that you get a little description down the bottom here showing us what this preset will actually do. You'll notice also that the names are duplicated, but the second batch from here are the ITU 1770 presets, which are also valid for ATSC A85 and some of the other international loudness delivery specs. I'm in the UK, so we'll go back to this. And you'll also notice down the bottom here, we have something that you see in quite a lot of plugins now, this ability to compare two presets simply by clicking on this button. We can now go back to preset A which is the universal R128 or the movie one, preset B. So how does it sound? Well, I'm gonna play a, a little section here. Colin left his robes and walked by seven furs and golden Because what I've got here is a book reading, which has got some underscore of music and some quite significant gaps between the speech. I'm sorry, he said. I am sorry. I was wrong. I was I'm running so this wrong. on the movie preset, which we can see is, is about trying to contain the on. extended dynamic range of a movie you and make it suitable for TV playback. The telescope moved in azimuth and elevation to lock onto him. He held the black stone, the stone that held stars and galaxies, all heavens in the hand that had held its mate. So you can see that it's actually just starting to, to smooth out. When this goes green, that's adding some gain. When it goes red, then it's putting some attenuation in. Just kindly and gently, just lifting this. He turned from the rock towards the dish. It waited. He spoke. So there's a brief demonstration of some quite tricky material. 
There's also another section that I just want to play you, and it's from a drama. And again, see Sir, how the level I'll works. I'll leave you to your prayers, Omar. Thanks, Mrs. Chaudhary. I'll be down to it straight after. Notice that it's, it's not Omar. actually putting a lot of gain yeah, in in no the problems. gaps. So again, to me, shows that the algorithm really has got quite a bit of intelligence. So what did I think of Level Magic? Well, I have to say that I came to this being a little sceptical about the idea of an automated loudness management system, because it doesn't really sit that well with me, because of the whole idea that if you have a calibrated monitoring system and a good pair of ears, it's perfectly possible to mix very close to target loudness. I mean, I do it every week with the Pro Tools Expert podcast. I get within 0.5 of an LU each week. And there are lots of people who are mixing live and mixing very successfully within the delivery specifications. But I have to say, with the various experiments that I've done, it's remarkably intelligent for helping to smooth out loudness changes. So for me, I think one of the main applications for this in a post-production environment is fast turnaround content, news, stuff that needs to be finished very quickly. And so you can leave this, run it across a mix, and really help to smooth out any of the imperfections that you didn't have time to manually massage and manage. I would have liked to have seen the pause and reset controls linked to my DAW like the new gen Viz LM does. And in many respects, I think it's still got some of the leftover parts of the hardware device. For instance, when would we need a news live algorithm in post-production? You can see here now that it's acting much faster of course, it will smooth out the joins, but again, it's going to start to get to that point where we can hear it working. And the other thing that I would like to see changed is when you access a menu like this, normally you would just click away and it would dismiss the menu. Here, you actually have to click on the selected item to dismiss it. So overall, I think it's a really good start. I think it needs some additional development to make it more suitable for post-production rather than just importing across the existing hardware algorithms and turning it into a plugin. But even though I'm somebody who wants to manage and prepare all my mixes carefully and craft them well, I appreciate that in these high-speed, fast turnaround scenarios, a product like this would be very, very useful. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.